Okay, hey everybody, we're back and we're gonna do another tutorial. We've got the dogs here, and this is Daisy. And Daisy's favorite shape is the squiggle, and so is Veronica. So we're gonna stick with it. Can you, Mike, can you plug? Can you give me the plug? In? Okay. By the way, Daisy likes Ovaltine. Okay, and that yeah, she has a little bit of Ovaltine on her nose, but you know a what? Long time ago. Everybody gets a little Ovaltine on their nose every now and then. So here we have a Illustrator project, and I've got a little shape that's been drawn in there. So I'm just going to see how it's selected. Yeah, I yes. do. Okay. I'm really <laughs> do you know how I copy it? Yes. Yes, you hit Control-C. Yeah, Control-C. Command C. Command C or Control-C for, I guess my children are mostly PC-using children. Okay, so Command C. And now I've copied this shape, and I'm going to have it right on in After Effects. So I'm going to go over to After Effects here. And that's our previous composition. I'm just going to go make a new composition. Keep the same parameters. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and just make a new solid. So Shift Command Y and click OK. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and add the right on effect to it. And First of all, our paint style needs to be, um, we'll do on transparent, okay? And then our brush position needs to be animated, but I can't select it here. So can I find the brush position somewhere else? Yes. yes. Or where do you think I can find it? You can find you click it. Brush you click brush position. Brush position, yeah. <laughs> How about if we twirl this? Yeah, 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 we twirl that. Yeah, okay. And then you hit transform. Well, here we're going to go to effects right on. Clicking that, and sure enough, there it is. Brush position. Click it. Well, we can't select it up there, so we have to do it here. I'm going to do the keyframe thing, and I'm going to, with that selected, just command V. And. There it is, but I had the wrong shape selected over in Illustrator. So I gotta go back to Illustrator, make sure I have the right one selected. This is the one I want. So again, copy, Command C. Go back over to After Effects, and I'm gonna just turn that off. And then turn it on again and Command V. Woohoo! Now we're cooking. We've got a little yeah. dot moving yeah. across the screen, which is what pretty much what we want. So now all we need to do is bring that brush size up, and we can see that it's writing itself up. However, now we have some options. So what should we, should we change the color? Yeah, we yeah, have to make it rainbow. Okay. Yeah, make, make it, it rainbow. rainbow. Okay, so then to do that, our brush time oh, properties. Oh. I actually want to be able to change the size. I told you hit color. Yeah, I'm gonna do color. I'm gonna yeah, do color. Okay, so we're gonna start here, and our start color. What do you want it to? Be? I want to be red. Rainbow. I mean red. Yeah, red. Red. Okay. So we click OK, and now as we go through, it's red. So then at the end, animate it. And then at the end, we can make it be a new color. What color? Blue. Blue. All right. Look at that. It's getting. It's rainbow. <laughs> it's getting kind of rainbow already. So, and we can even change the color in the middle if we want. To green. 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 Yellow. Yellow is prettier. Yellowish. We'll split the difference. Make it like a yellow green. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy has an opinion. What What do you like to say? What do you think is important about... <laughs> All right. Daisy has had her say and she's left the tutorial. Okay. So... Do you get what we did there, though? We went and we pasted the shape into the brush position. 
and then we uh, animated the color. And finally, we're going to make it look more like a real brush. So we're going to change the brush size. I'm going to go to the start and just make it bigger. Big. Super big. Really big. Like that. I guess that's as big as it's going to get. And then at the end, we're going to make it small. Really small. Like that. And then it's starting to look kind of neato, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so then, but it starts to make it polka dotty, and we can actually. Um, I like polka dotty. Do you? Okay. Yeah, but well, they don't. So you have to show them how. Oh to. yeah. Well, well, if we want our stroke, no, I'm doing the wrong one. Not stroke length. It needs brush spacing. So if we like polka dots, we can actually make it all polka dots, <laughs> right? Yeah. That would be. I like that. Actually, it's pretty <laughs> cool. Um, but if we don't want any polka dots like we take it to the client the client's like I really like it and um, we just not polka dots okay so then we're gonna go back to brush spacing and shrink or just click it and type a zero and voila we're done okay so that is it and we can animate it I think it isn't it's supposed to get like skinnier, so shouldn't that be a little less fat than that? You want it a little less fat at the start? No, no, I like it fat. Like mm -hmm. that, yeah. Okay. Alright. So there you have it. That is using the right on effect by um, pasting the shape into the brush position parameter. And there you have there you have it. If you want to see Veronica, I can bring her here. No, I want to show them Veronica. Okay. Nico! We're going to show you Veronica. She's a black and white doggy. Oh, don't show them your butt. That's rude. Veronica, look at the... Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Oh, my goodness. See, we'll get more YouTube hits when we show you the dog. So that's, that's <laughs> the end of this tutorial. All right. Bye. Bye.